Okay, this is a time lapse that I did yesterday and it was a cloud that wouldn't blow away. And I've done this before. I've documented it going back to 2013, 2014. But like, look at this line right along the edge here. Oh, come on, mouse, right in there. Right in there. You can see that it's just staying there and hanging out. And then what was happening is the jets were coming in and then right in here, if that shows up, there, right in there. They were like spotting right there. And I saw about a dozen jets come in and they would do a quick little spot and then they would go into this cloud here and spray. And I've seen them do this before. And the cloud just kind of hung there. It morphed and changed, you know, uh, its shape. But the basic part of the cloud just hung there. And you could see these other clouds being drawn into it when they were spraying it. And you could also make out where it was being zapped. But let's see if I can see it here. I'll st try to stop it where those ones come in and spot. I know not the best way to do a presentation looking at my screen, but like right here, this one right here will be drawn. That one right there, right here, will be drawn into that mixture there. And then there's other ones that are coming, going straight into it. That one's going horizontal along from the uh, north to the south or south to the north. I didn't actually see it, but that was a trail right there. But the other ones head into it. And just before they head into it, they turn it on for like a quick couple seconds, turned it off, and then right when they got to it, they turned it on. See, like right there, these three right there, right there. There's three spots right there. See how they were drawn into it also? And then I'm gonna show the, the one from 2014 that were all just stills, and that cloud hung out there for, oh man, it was like eight out all, all day, all day, right into the evening. So anyways, I'll let it play. And then this is the one from the little cloud that wouldn't blow away. I mean, what would cause a cloud just to hang out like that and not even move? There's obviously another force that is keeping that cloud from moving. But it's not really even a natural cloud. It's all nanoparticulates. And they're being zapped with, you know, microwave transmissions, harp transmissions, next red transmissions, you know, cell tower transmissions, who knows what all they're using, who knows. So I'll let that one run and you guys can decide for yourself if that is a normal, natural cloud formation. I think it, my pictures and my time lapses tell the true story. Our weather is completely being controlled and used as a weapon against And when you see these pictures here and of these stills I'm taking, look at the sun. I mean, it's just like a spot on that metallic cloud there. It's not moving. So the sun is not, whatever it is, 98, 93 million miles away, just like the moon's not nine or 238,000, whatever they say, whatever they say, it's close. It's like right on the other side of that cloud within the firmament that NASA cannot get through, okay? <laughs> That's all I have to say. But yeah, no, look, I'm right there. Give me a break. Looks like a 
a, a spotlight right behind that cloud shining on it. All right. Peace, everybody. Jesus Christ is God. He's Lord. Merry Christmas. He's coming back soon. I know, Christmas is a pagan holiday. We took it from the pagans. God bless everybody. spotted right there. Turned it on. I was watching it and then turned it off. Now it's right. Going right through that aerosol. Yeah, I don't see it. It's up there. It turned it off though. I should put a time lapse on it and see how it spreads out. Well, here's the sky here, December 21st in uh, Coachella Valley. And there's a little front coming in. But, but this cloud right here, you can see that dark cloud and how it goes all the way. That was a chemical aerosol that was sprayed up there. And it's drawing in the water moisture with the 
metallic particles, the aluminum, but that's not all what the uh, geoengineering is about. And the chemical aerosol spraying, that's just part of it. Stopping the weather. I mean, because they'll stop it in one place and cause flooding, flooding in other places. But yesterday they were coming through. It was all the wispy stuff blowing in. I did a time lapse because there was just one cloud that was hanging out. And they just kept coming through, jet after jet, and they would do a little spot before they got into it, almost like clear, clearing out the, the aerosol nozzle. So we'll see if that shows up on my time lapse. And uh, they do like one little short, short burst, and then about three seconds later, four or five seconds later, when they got into the cloud, they'd turn it on. And I saw them do that a dozen times yesterday. So we'll see if it shows up on my time lapse of how they were spraying this one particular cloud. And it wasn't really just that one particular cloud. They were out front looking south here and doing the same thing. So, you know, these pilots know. They know what they're doing. Not that they turn off and on the aerosols, but uh, they uh, definitely know that they're flying these flight routes to coincide with where they want to do the spraying. So anyways, it's this guy here. But yeah, look at that right there. That was just one big aerosol dump. So we'll see what that time lapse reveals. Should be pretty interesting. And we probably won't get any rain here or even on the coast from this little front coming through.